Welcome back to more Binding of Isaac. This is going to be entertaining. Uh, I haven't played since yesterday. Yesterday was so long ago, right? Uh, let's see, what have we done? Last time we played as Eve, I believe. I was just going through the, uh, the old vanilla folks. Still haven't unlocked Samson or Judas yet. I don't even remember how to unlock Judas, to be completely honest with you. Uh, let's see. Let's do an Eden run. I've not done this yet, obviously. Let's see how this, how this goes. So I've I'm pretty sure the way Eden works is they start with, like, random items, random stats. So, let's see, what do we end up with? Um, I have a large range, slightly high shot speed. My speed is higher than base. Really low stats overall. And I start with Let's Go Deeper and Headless Baby. And also a Soul Heart, that's cool. Alright, well, um... Okay, I, I, I'm sorry, I'm just caught off guard by looking at the map. Has it always been that obnoxiously large? Oh, you've got to be kidding me, that's the first thing I get! Lame! Alright, but anyway, this is not the worst start ever. I mean, Headless Baby is a pretty fantastic item, taking everything into account. Being able to spread creep and attack so passively is very useful. And then I immediately get the Holy Mantle. All right, we're we're good. We're done. This is this is perfect. Everything is good. Hold on a sec. What on earth is the deal with that map? Why is it so big? Like, why are the rooms so big? Is more my question. Ah, yeah, that's right. You can go ahead and cry. I'm sorry. I'm not really very sorry at all. I could obviously stand to have higher damage, though. I mean, we'll, we'll get to that in due time. Come on, shooting things. I'm gonna go check over here. Oh, wait, so you can... Oh, I see, I see. Okay, I had apparently hit the tab P at some point and didn't notice. Unfortunately, I think my primary damage dealing function right now, which is Headless Baby, is basically useless versus Gluttony. I mean, I guess I could just kind of like run back and forth and hope that Gluttony walks over the creep, but it's unlikely. So this is going to be pretty slow going for now. Oh, that was dumb. Slow going, but not like super slow. About as slow as I'd expect. Control Bomb, not interested. I do like the health up though. That's good to have. Technically that is also a full health item, so... I could have saved it in case I took a bunch of damage at the boss, but... Somehow I didn't think that would happen. So we get Larry Jr. Okay. This should be... You know what? I'm gonna have to do some fancy maneuvering here. Whoa. With the Headless Baby, because, because the creep is just gonna destroy Larry Jr. Yeah, look, look, look at that. Larry Jr. is like kaput already. That's amazing. I can probably just safely sit off to the side and shoot now. Should be okay. There we go. And we get the coin purse. This could be very bad. The coin purse is always a huge gamble. We have two of these. Range down? No thank you. Tears up? That's good. Tears down. Wow, that's like really dumb. Okay, well, moving on. I don't ever intend to use the shovel, let's go deeper. I think it's useful in some contexts, but for the most part, it's really not. Now, the deck of cards on the other hand, I would definitely rather have this thing. And it gives me the lover's card as my first, uh, first draw. Could come in handy. Maybe. Possibly. That'd be nice if it did, I mean, you know. Well, I guess it wouldn't actually be nice if the Lover's Card came in handy, because under most circumstances, that means I've taken enough damage for it to be valuable. And unless I find, like, a, a Demon Judgment or a Blood Bank or something, not too in bed. Oh, it just knocks the pennies right back in. Lame. Alright, this is gonna be a very long... Because I don't think these things... Are they damaged by the creep from Headless Baby? Maybe they are. Hey, they might be. For now, I'm just going to keep running circles and shooting into the crab. Looks like it's almost done. Come 
There we go. Now I'm like super dizzy. <laughs> okay, I don't like these things. That's right, get dead. Nope. There we go. We good, we good. No bombs yet. I mean, I was going to look for the secret room maybe next to the shop there. But I don't have any bombs, so who cares? These things are Claudies, right? I think they are. Okay, I've got a lover's card. Uh, Justice, I might as well just pop now, see what it gives me. Alright, you know, bomb key. Half red heart. Is that everything on this floor? That was, damn. Everything except for a boss trap room, which I'm not going to be able to access unless something really awful happens in the Monstro fight, which is unlikely because it's, you know, it's a Monstro. Yeah, Monstro, you, you don't scare me at all. That's not to say I don't take stupid damage from Monstro sometimes. But, it doesn't happen, like, exceedingly often. Like that right there, that was just a really bad hit, but thankfully I got the Holy Mantle. Which has saved me more than a few times, I must admit. Saved me from, you know, dumb damage. Oop. Out of the way. A couple more hits, there we go. Deal with the Devil or Angel, alright, and a speed upgrade. Did you seriously just give me a second Lover's card? It totally did. That's Brimstone. I don't think Brimstone is really worth it in this situation. No curse room, though. I was really hoping I'd find one of those. Alright, I guess there's really nothing else to do here. I mean, I could go look for the secret room or something. Is it really a valuable option, though? I mean... No, nah, not really. I only have one bomb. It'd be kind of pointless. Yeah, whatever. Let's move on. Down to floor the third. And we unlock Samson. Okay, I'm happy. I'm glad. I'm, I'm happy with that. Uh, I might come back for that. Wow, two champions. Nope, nope. Yeah, I want to let the headless baby do more of the more damage. Okay, so this is something I need to remember. The different colored champions do different things. So apparently, the blue ones when you kill them explode into um. What to call it? Tears? Like a tear blast? Yeah, that range down- that range downgrade pill from earlier is... kind of- kind of bite me a little bit. That pill does not really interest me very much. Kill the bizarre flying sphincters. <laughs> These things will always be the, the bizarre flying sphincters to me. Because it's just- Look at him, just look at him, that's what they are. Oh, that was dumb. Alright, well I have the Holy Mantle, so I can access curse rooms basically completely for free. Speed down. Why am I getting so many bad pills? Luck up. So many bad pills. This is just like like a very, very unlucky run for pills. And you're dead. And you're dead. Now you're dead. A death card. Okay. So, this gives me a good chance to test this thing. Um, you used to be able to spawn all three waves of a challenge room by pausing. Make them all spawn in at once. It looks like that doesn't work anymore. Which is fine. See, because I was thinking if I could spawn them all in at once like I used to be able to, I could just pop a death card and destroy everything simultaneously. Alright, with the Headless Baby, this shouldn't be too difficult of a fight. Globins can be a real pain in the ass when you have a low damage output, but I feel like, I, yeah, I should be just fine. Again, it's going to be pretty slow going, but, you know, what can you do? Actually got hit right there. Basically, as so long as I can get them into the little pile blob state when they're on the creep, it's you know it, it just takes care of them.
I'm running circles around you. There's somebody making weird noises outside my window. What the heck? Leave me be. Leave me with my video games and my microphone and headphones. Okay, that was a lover's card. I might as well just leave the lover's card there for now because I don't expect I'm going to need it. And I'll hold on to the death card in case it becomes, it like, presents a greater value in the lover's card. It, it'll probably happen. Maybe in a boss fight like uh, Gertie or something. Or the Gurglings. The fool card. Teleport me to the spawn room. Not interested. Let's see what we get in here. What is this? Dark bum, he wants- Oh, does that just give me a random item? Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Alright, well, GG game, I have dark bum, so, uh, you know, I'm gonna win now. See? I'm- I'm already- I'm already winning. Dark bum will pick up red hearts and then has a chance to drop, uh, soul hearts or black hearts. Which is kind of sort of overpowered, I think, given how... Yeah, look at that. Look at how how frequent the drop rate is. It's really impressive. So that's the Fool. Definitely not interested. Rather have the Death card. I guess the question mark in there was just a random item. Hmm. Interesting. There we go. There's seven cents over there, which I absolutely want. I think it's worth a bomb. Because now I have enough money to buy something from the shop, which is also random. Is this what Eden is? It's just a random item? Piggy bank, my life savings. If I'm not mistaken, the piggy bank gives you money when you take damage. Like, it just you just, you just drop some amount of money next to you. I could be wrong, though. Come on. Stop being stubborn. There we go. My damage output was so low that it was just going to be a really long fight. Okay, Mega Fatty. Mega Fatty does that awful, mean, like, insta-jump thing, which just drives me nuts. That. Basically, you have to read Mega Fatty's tells perfectly. And extremely quickly. Potentially a very awful boss. Yeah, that, that move really does not concern me. Oh, you hit me with your fart attack. Okay, well, let's just keep trucking, I guess. Yeah, this is extremely slow going because Mega Fatty isn't moving and my damage is just exceptionally low. I might want to pop the Death Card just to do some extra damage here. You know what, I'm gonna do it. I mean, that's just fine with me. I can probably grab the Fool and. Maybe it'll come in handy, like on the Depths 2 or something. After fighting Mom, I can leave the boss room when I'm done. There we go, land on Creep. Land on the Headless Baby stuff. Please. Make my life marginally easier, or at least speed things up a little bit. I am doing so little damage right now. This is this is just ridiculous. This is even worse than last run with Eve. Goodness. Oh well, we got a soul heart out of that. Which is totally okay with me. Can you just like stop being a tiny target? Goodness. I am only getting random items. Safety pin, evil range, and shot speed. Like, sure, I guess? Gave me a black heart, which is cool. 
Anything else to do here? I am going to go use one bomb to look for the secret room. It appears that it could be over here, right in the spot, so I'm going to check there. I was right, and we got six cents. You know, that's, that's respectable enough. I'll take it. Or apparently I'll take five and then take one. And I'm just going to go ahead and leave. There's no reason to stick around here any longer. This is going pretty well so far, all things considered, but I really, really need more damage. Curse rooms are apparently only free sometimes. That's weird. Come on, Larry Jr., get up here so the headless baby's creep can do damage. There we go. Yeah, that's more like it. That's more like it. There we go. Keep moving on. I don't actually have any keys, which is unfortunate. But there is an arcade there, and I can probably use that to get at least one key. So I'll check it out. Uh, let's see... There's a blood bank. Ooh, demon judgment is very tempting. I'm definitely coming back to that area though, to that little juncture. Junction. I'm not sure which is more correct. I'm just gonna spread some creep around and then apparently take a single really dumb hit of damage. Oh, or a second one. Hey, that was good timing to lose a black heart, though. Okay, missing page. That's, um, at least it's a trinket. I didn't have one before. Honestly, I don't know what it does. Like, I, I know what it used to do. I don't know what it does now, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm three, I'm three shot in the spiders. That's never a good thing. Just means that my damage output is exceedingly low. Whoa! You people jump. People. Things. Ooh, I got a Joker card? Okay. Okay. That is potentially exceptionally good. I really dislike this room because posts are mean. Whoa! Whoa! Calm down. You're not calming down. Fine. Fine. I'll lose a black card to you dipshits. I get a judgment card. I will ignore the judgment card for now. And I did also see that boss trap room just there, which it's good to know that's there. Because there's the blood bank and the demon judgment over in the arcade, which means I can access it. Whether or not I can actually get something out of it, who knows. With no keys, I can do basically jack shit. <laughs> It's okay, though. This is going well, but it's also exceptionally slow. No, come on, Silkworm. Just stop moving. Thank you. Bombs, money. It's enough to visit the shop and buy an item there if I had any keys. Interesting how there was just the one green one. Whoops. Umbilical cord. I don't know how this might have been changed, so I'm gonna stick with the missing page. I mean, it really doesn't matter which one I keep, to be honest. Nothing there. Alright, this is certainly a room. I like the aesthetic of the, uh, the pool there in the center of the room, though. That's pretty cool. Pretty neat. Something hit me there. What the heck, man? What did I do to you? Other than cry on you a lot, apparently. Mm -hmm. It's okay, I got this. Very, very slowly. There we go. Hey, I got a key! Okay. My dilemma here is um, trying to decide on what I should use the key. 
Do I use it on the shop? The item room? What do I do? I think that does more or less depend on if I get one more key or not. Okay, trick them all to go that way and keep them walking over the headless babies, damaging blood splatter. It's honestly my best bet. There we go. Globins are all gone. Just that little dude left. Keep moving. Yeah, I figured we'd find the boss soon. Sorry, I'm just trying to focus right now because dodging in a room like this is kind of a pain. I must say, I'm playing a bit better than I was yesterday. Just a bit. The difference may or may not be marginal, unfortunately. I'll just use the two of diamonds right now. Okay. Actually, let's fight the boss and see what we get. It might give me the item latch key, which would um give me two keys. Which is more or less exactly what I want right now. Okay, I want to kill these nubs, but my damage is just so low. Is this the iteration of Gertie that only spawns enemies? It totally is. I am not equipped to handle this! There we go. The black heart is going to have to be my savior right there. Oh, never mind, it shoots. Gertie, can you just only shoot me, please, and don't spawn anything else? That's that's not what I meant, Gertie. Gertie, Gertie, you're being mean. Stop it, Gertie. Alright, and apparently Gertie's hitbox is not where I thought it was. Alright, I'm just going to have to focus on dodging and shooting Gertie, because I'm not going to be able to take out all the minions it spawns. Uh. If only I could actually use my primary damage dealing function, that being the Headless Baby. But I can't exactly use that against Gertie now, can I? I mean, I guess I technically could if I were, like, a lot faster. Yeah, it's not its not gonna work. Alright, I really, really, greatly, incredibly, extremely dislike how this is going. I'm just not equipped for this fight. I also can't help but notice how few red hearts have been spawning. Dark Bum has been uh, doing basically nothing to help me this whole floor. Nope, nope, this is fine. Just keep up this pattern. Keep up this pattern and we'll be okay. Well, I'll be okay. You won't. Oh, that was a that was a snipe. Stop spawning flies! Damn it, Gertie! God damn it, Gertie! Gertie, you are being extremely unfair right now. Stop it. Uh, oh. And I was doing so well this run. And then and then this is like the only time I've ever actually been wrecked by Gertie. This is ridiculous. All of my soul hearts are gone. I even took red heart damage. I was really looking forward to maybe getting like a deal with a devil or angel or something, but no, nothing of the sort. Instead, I get the pentagram. At least it's a damage upgrade, that's nice. Although I certainly lost a lot and I still only have the one key. 
I'm gonna have to go to the shop first to see if I can buy a key. Which I can't, obviously. I get a steam sale. I'll take it. Nothing? I'm disappointed. And I'm just... I'm just gonna donate until this thing breaks. It, it would actually behoove me to use this money gambling in the arcade. But no, I'm gonna do this instead, because I'm dumb. Now it's jammed. I was really hoping this would actually be good. Damn it. I, I don't like how this is going so far. Judgment. Right, right, I had this, didn't I? I will go ahead and pop Judgment over in the arcade, just because I can, really. Put it down right there. Okay, how do I want to do this? There is a boss trap room. So I'm going to start by playing the blood, blank, blood bank once. Oh right, and I have the piggy bank, so I get money for damaging myself. Or for taking damage. Hmm, interesting. Grab the joker card. Three red chests, I am totally down with that, and it gives me a bunch of pills! And a really, really bad spawn of enemies. Nope, go away, chub. See, the problem with these pills is that they're just all, like, in the middle of the arena, and if I pick one of them up, I, it just it hinders my movement and offensive abilities. Keep. Okay. That's fine. This shouldn't be too bad. The pentagram is certainly helping, don't get me wrong. I didn't mean to sound, like, angry or annoyed that I got it, but I was just really frustrated at that Gertie fight. There was just nothing I could do to avoid most of that damage. Even dodging better wouldn't have helped me very much. I just, I was not equipped. That hit me? Okay, apparently the eyes have a very different hitbox now. Mm. Yep, I'm dead. Fuck this. Fucking hell. <sighs> that pisses me off so much more than you can possibly imagine. Oh my god, the stupid Gertie fight. Gertie, why? I had the Holy Mantle. And Dark Bum. I should not have died to that at all. The fucking Gertie. Free bomb. I'm a tinted rock. The key and a soul heart, and I am just so upset right now. Oh my gosh. I'm trying not to beat myself up, but I'm having a very difficult time of it. Because it just wasn't my fault. There's nothing I could have done, though. <sighs> Whatever. Move on, move on. Eh. Leeches. It's a thing. It'll chase down enemies, damage them. If it kills an enemy, it'll drop red hearts, I think. If only I still had the dark bum, eh? If only. Check for a secret room. There we go. Real funny game. And we get the gurglings? Okay, this is scary. The gurglings, gurglings are particularly frightening as the first floor boss, first floor boss, sorry, tripping over my letters there. Ah, what the fuck is your knockback? Speed and range up. That was a range up? Goodness, my range must have been abysmal. Alright, whatever. 
Moving on. I am so disappointed in myself right now. I really wish I weren't, but it's so hard not to be. See, like, all of my motivation to do well is just gone now. At least I start with some pretty good items. I'm honestly not sure exactly what Mom's wig does. It has something to do with spawning spiders. But Guppy's head is a pretty pretty good item. Especially given that it only has a one-room charge. That's the miter. Shit, son. Dark Bum is good. The miter is also good. Get a little bit of a black heart there, that's cool, I guess. The miter makes it so um, non-specific heart drops have a much greater chance to be soul hearts. Which is potentially very, 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 very good. It can be, mind you, it can't. I'm, I'm just being- I'm being rendered speechless by all the bullshit that's happening. Well, yeah, whatever. Fight the boss. It's Monstro. This seems to be a default of every- for every second floor ever, for any reason. All of them. I'm- I'm sorry, I really am disappointed. That was such a good run. It was so strong defend from a defensive standpoint. I mean, I have the miter this time, which is also a very good item. Ghost Baby and Guppy's Tail. Not really down with either. I've had them both at least once, so for the collection it's pointless. Catacombs. What exactly are the parameters for the spider spawning with Mom's wig, though? I, I just can't figure it out. Double key rooms always have good stuff. Oh! It's a six. Okay, so six rooms are interesting in that they completely re-roll your whole run. Like, all the items you have, everything about your floor, everything. I don't know, I don't think they re-roll the layout, though, but they'll re-roll everything else. That is a really interesting prospect. I have the miter, though, so I don't think it's worth doing. Mm, scary, though. It's a frightening thought. Uh, sure, I'll bomb for a nickel. Check and see if there's a second secret room. Nope. More gurglings? Really, game? Oh well. At least I can handle them decently well. Alright, there's the item room. Is that Ouija board? Ouija board? Spectral tears, right? Yeah, spectral tears. Alright, that's cool. I mean, by no means is it exceptionally awesome or anything, but it's cool. We got our first pill. Which is... He madam mid of mid of... I still don't know how to pronounce that, because I've never gotten a good look at the word. All it did was just... bring us to full health, which I think we already had anyway. Full red heart health, I should say. Curse room, not interested. I don't have any more keys, though. Do I want to reroll my whole run? I have the miter, though. Like, this has potential to be a very strong run, so I'm not gonna do it. It's, it's too, it's too risky. Right there. Nope. That's surprising. The Fallen, okay, so that's a guaranteed deal with the Devil item, at least. Which is potentially very good. 
The Fallen is actually a difficult boss. Especially because I don't have the new animations memorized, so their tells are... So it's tells are... Oh my god! Sniped! And it gives me Dark Bomb back! Okay, game. That's it. We're good. I have the Miter and I have Dark Bomb. I, I don't think I can lose now. Of course, that's what I was thinking about the last run. I didn't have the Miter, though. But still... You know what? I feel totally okay going to the cursor room now. Gave me a couple black hearts. And by that I mean one black heart. That's fine, that's fine. I mean, I'll take it. It's a nice buffer to go beyond the red hearts. And I have to leave behind the shop. Okay, whatever. This is good. I'm happy to have Dark Bum back again. My spirits are starting to come back a little bit. Starting to raise a little bit. This is a room that's wrecked me in the past. But not this time. Whoop! So is it like when I take damage it spawns spiders, or is it... I, I still don't understand how Mom's wig works. There's the key I needed last time, needed last time around. Whoa, whoops. That was some pretty dumb damage, I'll admit. Oh, it's these things. Oh, they're all gone. Okay, we're good. That that room, the room with the three um, triple wall slider shooter things, the split split shoot in like a spread pattern, I hate that room. I've never not taken damage in that room. Tears down. That's lame. Okay, there's a donation machine. Um... I'm not really interested in the blood bank. Maybe later, but certainly not now. Whoa! Ah, this room, I don't like this room. The catacombs is just like exceptionally difficult now. Although I did get that one unlockable earlier. Everything is terrible. Not, I, I don't know what that does, but I certainly don't disagree. I mean, everything isn't necessarily terrible, but everything is certainly worse, that's for sure. Or at least more difficult. That right there was almost a game of chicken I didn't need to play. Didn't. Didn't need to play. I know how to, I know how to talk. Maybe. Sometimes. I would actually be totally down with even just a single orbital right now. Even just one pretty fly would be nice to have. I actually have keys this time. Hematis hematomesis, that's what it is. I don't know if... Holy water, really? Fine. I don't know if hematomesis actually... Um, costs health or not. It, I, I think it does sometimes. I just I just really can't tell. Okay, keepers. I'd like y'all to just go away. All the way away. Please. There we go. So I might I might pop this pill when I go back to the arcade. Maybe. And a bomb for a regular chest and a penny is probably worth it, actually. We'll see. Gave me a bunch of money and a key. Just enough to go to the shop, which has the boomerang. Which I will take. If only for, you know, the fact that I have it, that I've, I've had it now. And I'll keep the last cent that I have. If only, if only to use them like the slot machine in the arcade, just just for one use. This is the boss. All right. Go back over this way.
Oh, interesting. Only gave me two soul hearts for that. Well, two, two red hearts for two soul hearts really isn't that bad of a trade. I'm gonna go check out this boss trap room. See if there's anything valuable in here. Yep. Guppy's collar. Oh, that was not damage I wanted to take. That was not damage I wanted to take either. You know what? I'm Guppy. I am now Guppy. <laughs> See, I started with Guppy's head, and then I just got Guppy's collar, and now 9 lives. Now, unfortunately, 9 lives means that I am now down to only one red heart container. But you know what? I'm Guppy. I'm not even- I'm not- I'm not bitter about it. I like being Guppy. Being Guppy means I actually have a chance to win! Hello, Mega Man. Mega Maw, sorry. I always read it as Mega Man, because it just looks like Mega Man. But it's not, it's Mega Maw. Whoa, that was close. Basically, I can spawn spiders somehow, and I'm like... crazy nuts with flies. Uh, yeah, sure. Red hearts? Or a pretty fly? I'd be okay with either. Dark bum, do your thing. Or not. Just go ahead and donate more money. Whatever, right? I didn't actually mean to pick up that half red heart, but I'll take it. And I do have spectral tears now that I think about it. So I have spectral tears, I can fly. Could really use some uh, range or tears upgrades. Dark one. This is a boss that I have virtually no experience with. Very, very little anyway. Whoa, okay. Looks like you go for a second pass. Ooh, and you fire lasers. Good to know. And apparently I beat it somehow. Pageant boy. Seven coins. Deal with the devil. I don't want either of those. I really need more range, though. This is this is getting kind of ridiculous. I'll just keep the money and go. Like, whatever, right? Let's see. Amnesia? Are you kidding? You're gonna give me that in the first freaking room of the floor? That's just dumb. Whatever. Okay, that was entirely an accident. <laughs> and we get Magic Mushroom. Alright, all stats up. I am totally fine with this. How's my range now? Considerably better. More damage, more health, more speed. And that was the stupid laser thing. Okay, game, I get it, I get it. You want me to re-roll my run. I'm not gonna. That is a terrible idea. I'm Guppy. I I have the miter, right? Yeah, I'm Guppy, I have the miter, I have Dark Bum. I don't want anything else. I am totally satisfied with what I have right now. I don't want to re-roll it. Zambies. That was just really awful damage. It's okay, though. Now those obnoxious rooms with the uh, tractor beam trap things are not going to murder me. Which is nice. Certainly very nice. Another bomb, another key. I just realized I haven't been checking for tinted rocks, but that's just because they're so damn hard to see. Oops. My bad. The Hanged Man. Literally useless. 
gives me flight for a room. Which is pointless, because I can fly. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna let my flies and leeches handle this room for the most part. Or flies and leech. There we go. Moving on. Oh, another long room. Interesting. Oop. Dark bum? Nothing. I am disappointed, but not surprised. Oh, they changed it so spectral tears can actually hit fires now. That's nice. Bob's brain. No thanks. Shop which contains the stepladder. You know what? No, I'm just gonna buy a key. And donate more money. Looks like that's it. Buy a soul heart, for good measure. The poopy enemies getting destroyed. Okay, I feel like I've been everywhere on the I really did not want to pick that up. I feel like I've been everywhere on the floor, but I'm going to go back and double check just in case. Because it's likely I haven't I've been there. I've been up. I've been down. Yeah, I've been... Don't, don't do that. Don't stand on that. You'll wreck everything. <laughs> Alright, I've been everywhere, so I guess it's time to... Go fight the boss. What do we get? The gate. This is a boss with which I am absolutely not familiar. I don't think it matters because it's dead. Unlock Necropolis. Yay. I was not paying attention to what hit me there. We get a deal with the angel. This is synth oil, right? Yes. No, this is a speedball. Speed and shot speed up. And the halo, which is an all stats up. Two all stats up in one run. Look at how, like, anime I am right now. This is ridiculous. I feel much better about this run than I did the last one, that's for sure. Uh, curse room? Maybe. Golden chest? No. Whoops! Not what I meant to do. We got sad bombs. Tear blast. So my bombs that I drop have little tear explosions now. Which is cool, I guess. They actually do a lot of damage. So it makes bombs even more effective at, you know, killing things. Yeah, my, my, my flies from being guppy are just wrecking everything. And also from Guppy's head. What was that that dropped? That was a key. Sorry, I was readjusting my headphones. Starting to hurt a little bit. Which they do sometimes. Dark Bum being a bro. Oh no! You hit me twice. Cursed Skull isn't actually very good, so I'm not gonna take it. Nope. Well, you know what? I have Kamikaze Flies and Spectral Tears. I didn't even have to try in this for this uh, this room. Yep. Blue Fires have a 25% chance to drop uh, Soul Hearts when you when you destroy them, but you can only destroy them with bombs or other such things. Generate more flies, continue moving on. Oh, is it Bob's brain that... hold on. Is it Bob's brain that was doing the explodey thing and causing tear explosions everywhere? I feel like it might have been. Uh, I've really been everywhere of interest, so let's just go fight Mom. Yeah, it is Bob's brain. Interesting.
Yeah, that was like super easy. Growth hormones, speed and damage up. I am so ugly now. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Let's just keep going. Move on and see what we can do. I want to... Oh, and it gives me Curse of Darkness? I'm going to have to readjust my position in my chair to be able to see the screen. Nope. I still don't understand the point of those things. They just look ridiculous and do nothing. They're just like, I am chained to the wall and cannot attack you. And I'm just like, damn shame. Sucks to be you. I see forever. Well, you know... I can see forever is actually pretty good. It lets, it lets you um, see the secret room. Or both secret rooms, actually. It just, it just straight up opens them up. You gonna come out? Come on. Come on. Thank you. I'm not... Is that... Eh, whatever. So I can still see forever. Probably should have saved that for the next floor. Speed down and argue a wizard. I am not a wizard, actually. And I don't particularly want to be one. Not if this is what being a wizard means. Yeah, I should have saved the, uh... I can see forever pill for the next floor. Excuse me. Alright. Just keep going. I mean, seriously, I have... I really have nothing to say, nothing to comment on. This is just... This is just a hella powerful run, and I really like where it's going. There's Black Heart. That is absolutely not the, the first place I... That's probably the last room I would have checked for the second secret room, if for some reason I decided to look for it. Okay, that was vaguely unfair, but I can, you know, blame my flies for it. Two more soul hearts, good. My health is very nearly maxed out. Mr. Fred. Yeah, Mr. Fred doesn't seem very difficult. I just kind of wrecked him. And I get an HP upgrade. Which I took, even though I probably shouldn't have. Alright. Utero 2. For now, at least, this is the most difficult floor we can encounter. Can't pick that up. You know what? I don't want my flies to do anything. I want to generate more flies. I have so many flies. And there was that one soul heart, so I'm totally okay with visiting here. Which was pointless, but whatever. See? Back to Max. <clears throat> My army of flies is dissipating, oh no! Good thing I can generate more without a second thought. And then there's just a few little, like, it's like spider infantrymen. Mm -hmm. Ow, toxic poops. Look at how many flies I have. This is ridiculously awesome. I love it. Go, my flies. Kill the dingles. Destroy them. That, that did not take very long. <laughs> hmm. So do doppelgangers, or do doppels actually do contact damage now? I hope they don't. I liked it when they didn't. Oop. That is a really funky looking champion. I'm going to assume it's a champion anyway. World card. I'm going to hold on to the world card. Sure, whatever. I'll take an eternal heart. 
more or less it's unnecessary. Bob's brain just keeps wrecking me. See that that right there is one of the basically why I don't why I didn't want it. Because it's it's objectively just I don't know if it's objectively bad, it's just difficult to use. Alright, on to mom's heart fight. Yeah, this is like the easiest, one of the easiest mom hearts, mom's heart fights I've ever done. And I can totally go to Shoal, fight Satan, so I'm going to do it. This is why I was saving the world card. In case this was something I could do. Ooh, unlocked Ipecac. But in case this right here is something I could do, end up in Shoal. Or the Cathedral. Alright. Uh, I am just going to go straight for the boss. Like, I really have no reason not to. Ooh, that was dumb. No reason not to. Or rather, no reason to do anything else. He says as he immediately goes the wrong way. I wonder if I did that to generate flies. <laughs> Pills. Speed up. Amnesia. Nobody knows. Range up. Nobody knows. Balls of steel. I am totally okay with... I'm, I'm okay with how that went there. The range up and balls of steel are going to be really awesome. Oh shoot, are those floating sphincters that have lasers? Scary. Hey, I found the second secret room too. Let's check it out. Red hearts. Whatever. Satan. That was just a perfect bomb right there. Alright, Satan. Uh, get wrecked. This is like super mega powerful. I love it. Yep. Sweet. Alright, that is our first Eden win. Unlock the Book of Secrets, unlock Judas. I'm really disappointed about that first run, but the second one there just so totally made up for it. Becoming Guppy on a whim like that. That was cool. One curse room later, and you've tripled your damage output. Pretty sweet. Anyway, that's that's, that's gonna do it for today. That was that was entertaining. Uh, thanks for watching, see you around, etc. etc. Next time, maybe. Go watch the next video. If it's up yet, it might not be. But go watch it. Anyway, that's all. Bye.